What's up, Hack Club? It's your boy Fancy back with a brand new video. We've got some more Elden Ring content for you today, and by the end of this video, I will have shown you one of the easiest ways to get runes early in the game as fast as possible to really jumpstart your character. If you're enjoying the Elden Ring content and you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. I appreciate you folks. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Love. Stay fancy, y'all. All right, folks, so uh, what we are going to be uh, uh, attempting here is an amazing rune farm. This rune farm is going to end up net netting you some, somewhere in the ballpark of around 90,000 runes. It's insane. So before we get started, though, we need before we get started with the actual rune farm, we need to get a treasure item and we need to pick up a new weapon as well. Now, before we even get started with that, I would highly re I would highly recommend that you have unlocked three things. You've you've, you've unlocked uh, you've you've unlocked your spectral steed torrent, and you've also picked up the map fragments for both east and west limgrave. So uh, we are here at the at the first step site of grace. And uh, first off, I'm gonna go ahead and, and pass the time so that it's morning time. And so just so that it's easier to see. That's just my personal preference. Ooh, it's morning time and it's kind of foggy. I do, that's one thing that I, that I do really appreciate with Elden Ring is the is the the sense of dynamic weather. All right, so from the from the first step, let's go ahead and call up Tor and we're gonna go south. And we're gonna be looking to kind of go down this cliff side here. We're gonna go up here. You kind of want to jump. And double jump so that you can reach this step here. Ooh, grab that. Love that golden rune. Make our way down here. You want to kind of take that path so that you don't take any fall damage coming down. Now we're going to be going for this edge of the cliff here. So let's start kind of a gallop and a run. And we're going to jump and aim over here. And jump and... Oh! Alright. It, it still worked. Okay, so if you saw the kind of water mist around us, that, and that means we were getting the fall damage protection of this uh, of this air spring. So now we're going to come over here, ignore the dead that are coming up, and we grab ourselves a gold pickled foul foot. Over here, and we're going to take these up. Boing. And a boing. Interesting view with all the fog. All right, we have ourselves a gold pickled foul foot. So the whole reason that we got this item in the first place, folks, is so that we uh, can be able to boost our rune collection. So by using the gold pickled foul foot, it's going to boost our rune collection for a, sh for a short period of time by 30%. So we're gonna use that al along with, 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 our, uh, with our rune farm to be able to get a maximum amount of runes. Okay, so now that we have our treasure, we need to get a new weapon. So the weapon we're going for, that we're going for right now, is the Morning Star. The Morning Star is is an awesome bl bl uh, blunt weapon. It's 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 a it's a it's, it's a mace with with spikes on it, but it also does bleed build up as well. So from from the first step, Grace, we're going to be heading east. Uh, let me pull up my map. We're going to be heading east along this waterway uh, along this water source here. To this fork on the road here. I'm gonna put a waypoint right around here. So what we're looking for is a sight of grace over there. So here we are, Sight of Grace. Go ahead and rest so we can re so we can reset the world. And we're checking we're gonna check out our map. Alright, so here we are at Ag Heel Lake South. So now from here, we're, we're, we're gonna pick up uh, we're, we're gonna pick up two new uh, two more sites of grace. One that one that, 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 that's gonna be in the middle over here. Uh, it's essentially gonna be the entrance to the Mistwood, this area here in the map, and the other one is gonna be here at the Third Church of America. So from here, 
we're going to go up here. We'll put a marker here. And from there, we're going to head over to the church. Should be must have went. Um, uh, oh, there it is. There it is. This is the entrance to the Mistwood. Let's go ahead and rest here so we can reset the area, de aggro the people who were chasing us. All right, so now check out. Map, Mistwood outskirts. All right, so from here, we're going to be heading over to the Church of America. The third Church of America. We're going to hit this side of Grace, reset that giant. Sit, 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 sit. <laughs> All right, reset the giant. Okay, now we now have the side of grace for Third Church of America. While we're here, there's a couple of really important things we want to get. First off, right over here. Bam, our first sacred tier. Sacred tiers are going to allow us to upgrade our, fl our, our flasks. We also get our flask of a wondrous physic. All right, so let's let's go back over to the side of Grace real quick. We're gonna have a couple of things that we can do here. So first off, we're gonna go to our flasks. With that sacred tier, we're gonna increase the amount replenished by flasks. So now our our crimson flasks are plus one. All right, now we can look at, at mix wondrous physic. Okay, so with this menu, you can mix two crystal tiers in the Flask of Wondrous Physic. This will uh, this will allow you to create physics with various custom effects. So currently, we only have uh, one crystal tier. We you, you have to find more throughout the world. Uh, we, but it, it's good to get this now because you're going to find these crystal tiers throughout the world, and by getting that Flask of, of Wondrous Physic, you'll be able to to, to remix. Uh, and, and, and your 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 remix your 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 physics and the cool thing is with the flask of with the flask of wondrous physic, it it, it has one charge, but that one charge resets whenever you rest at a side of grace. And whenever you rest at a side of grace, you can always change up the crystal tiers that you have in that flask. Okay, so we've have so so we've upgraded our flask with uh with that. Uh, sacred tier, and we now have asked at access to our wondrous physic. Okay, so from the Church of America, uh, let's pull up map here. So we're going to be going over to this lake into this little corner over here, and we're going to be accessing a teleporter. This teleporter is going to take us like all the way up into into the far northeast of the map. It's a, 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 a it's a cool little, little bypass, and by doing this bypass, it's going to trigger Melina to take us to the Round Table Hold, which is which is awesome. So let's, let's let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and move the beacon. So we're come over here, right to that corner there. Put another beacon down. I don't. Okay. Here, that's just to make it easy for us to see. Come over here, here's that water source, over here in the corner. You see this little wispy when it leads to a teleporter. Examine it and say yes to traveling to another location. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be going kind of south, southeast from us from here, so. 
kind of in, in a viscerally direction. Go ahead and call a torrent. We're gonna ride past this big old this big old gargoyle here. We're too fast for us. He can't mess with us. Now along this path, we're gonna see another beauty treasure. A golden seed. Go ahead and grab that real quick. That's gonna add, allow us to add a new ch another charge to our flasks. And there's our sight of grace. Go ahead and grab that. And rest. We should get a cut. Yeah, there she is. Okay. Forgive me. I've been testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you. If you had there are several ways in Elden Ring to to get to this point where Melina will take you to will take you to Round Table Hold. Most uh, the most people take the hard path, which goes through beating the first main boss, mo first main boss market. This is a is a really easy side path. Gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and Let say yes, and we're gonna go to Round Table Hold. For but a moment. This is a, 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 a getting access to Round Table Hold. This, or, a, a, you know, in in an early game without having to beat the boss, without having to beat the first main boss, is such a huge win. All right, so here we are. We are at the Round Table Hold. Now, when you pull up your map, you know, in order to access the Round Table Hold, in order to see where it is, you have to zoom all the way out. And the only way to access the, to access the Round Table Hold is through uh, fast travel through your map. Just here. Well, I'm going to go ahead and use that golden seed that we just picked up. So now we have five flasks, and they're plus one. So, big, big win when it comes to when it comes to uh, our healing. So we have a couple of NPCs that we that we can talk to here. Oh, I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the Round Table Hold. This is this is Corwin. I'm Corin. Cor, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations. The strength and explore the so, that so he 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 he'll tell you about about his role. Essentially, his goal is is to be an advisor for uh for uh, to be an advisor for uh for for a tarnished of the Round Table Hold if they were to become Elden Lord. Uh, he'll ask you if you still see the guidance of Grace. You want to say yes? Wonderful, most tarnished, a blind you are so well. Okay, so 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 uh, Corwin. I'm Corin. Uh, Cor uh, Corwin. Is that, is, that, is that how you say his name? I'm Corin. Uh, he sells incantations. So if you if you are a faith build, or a, a, a essentially a, a mage build, you can you can get incantations off of him after talking to him. Golden order shine through. Here we go. Oh, Talk to him. This is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the this table. This, well, well, we'll learn a little bit later, as is a pretty senior, important character. I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Allow me a word of advice. You are a mere visitor to the round table. A house guest. Remember your... Pl yes, you, you can exhaust his... Uh, his dialogue. We can, we can also also talk to ah, this person. I'm, this is well, uh, just call me Dialos. Dialos. The honor of one's house holds. By the way, she's my servant. He mentions that that his servant uh, Laria is somewhere out out in the wild. If you, you know, if you happen to find her, let let him know. So by talking to him, she's a servant. She's been my companion. You kind of starting that quest line. Not too sure where, where that quest leads. Over here, and we have access to Master Hugh, the your new face, uh, the blacksmith. Loud, you're all. Master Hugh. All right, so 
Um, uh, we need some more smithing stones, which we will get later. Uh, so uh, you, can, you, you can also uh, you can, so you be able to you can you, you can talk to Master Hugh about his change. Uh, you, you, you can also talk to him about Ashes of War and putting Ashes of War on your weapons. Um, one of the things that 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 we did do, uh, and we kind of we we, we did this uh, just on our own off stream off recording. Uh, we did find uh, the war, the War Master's shack, and we got ourselves. Uh, uh, the Ash of War called No Skill. So what we want to do with this Ash of War is we want to apply it to our shield. The reason we're doing that is so that while we have our shield equipped to be able to give us some kind of defense with our shield, we'll be able to use uh, our we'll still be able to use our unsheath ability for the Uchi Katana without needing to two hand the Uchi Katana. So for now, so we're gonna work on getting our Morning Star. So from some from first step, we're uh, da -da 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 -da. uh Ag Heel South. Got that we got Ag Heel South. Okay, so here, so this, so that, so that that, that that's the step that I missed. Like, I went from here all the way up here. So here's the step that I missed. So from for step one, let's head over to Ag Hill Lake South. So we're here at Ag Hill Lake South. From here, we're going to head south. Uh, and we're going to go across this, this bridge that we see here. We're going to be heading essentially over this way. This bridge is known as the Bridge of Sacrifice. There is a ballista on this bridge that we're going to attempt to dodge. That ballista, if it, if, it, if it hits you, it, it could do a decent amount of damage. We're essentially going to be crossing the bridge over into the Weeping Peninsula. So, let's head over that way. Here we go, we're heading south. There is the Bridge of Sacrifice. Alright, there is the Ballista. There we go, we, we we're able to dodge it. Come here, grab that, Stone Sword Key. You just keep going. They, they, they can't catch up to you. There's going to be a lot of enemies over here, including a giant. Plan is, we're gonna grab the we're gonna grab the Morning Star, and then we're gonna run away far enough so that we can so that we can fast travel. Move off, Morning Star, horse. Ooh, gold rune too. Love that. Strip of white flesh. Not sure what that does. Probably a crafting item. All right. So from here, what map? Let's head back to our side of race up here. So from here, we're going to be cr we're going to be crossing uh, the bridge that's just next to uh, to this to this side of grace. We're going to be running past a dragon and trying to avoid uh, another another boss as well. So real quick before we do this, come over to our pouch. We're going to put our, our gold pickle foul foot in our pouch so we have easy access to it. All right. Here we go. Come straight across the bridge. We're gonna run past this dragon, kind of go. Takes him a while to react. We're gonna run through his legs. If you like that, make sure to like the video. We're gonna, we're gonna keep going. Just keep running past him. He can't catch up to us. We're gonna follow this path down into the west, heading toward uh, this minor herd tree here. There's a boss right in front of us. We're gonna avoid them and go to and go to the to the right a little bit through the pots. And we're gonna come up here. Okay. From the from the base of the tree here, we're gonna be going west. 
go straight west. Avoid the enemies. We're looking for a big old boss dragon that we're going to kill. Alright, here we go, up here. So, do exactly what I'm doing. We're going to come up here on this ledge. There's the big dragon. Go to the right of it. We're going to run to the right of it. Go, go, go over to its wing here. We're going to jump over this wall. Stay close to the wing. Jump over here. Bam. Now, we are behind... We're going to crouch behind the dragon. This dragon's going to lay down. All right. Now, this dragon will not attack us. So we are in a safe area. The other dragons around us, you may hear them stomping around. They won't be able to get to you to, uh, to, 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 to attack you. So now, go ahead and two-hand points are. And away we go. We're going to start attacking the dragon. So we're doing decent damage right now. But as we build up the bleed, we're going to see a big chunk of his health chip away. There, you see that 13,000? That, 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 that was the bleed proccing. So the dragon's health is getting really low. We're almost at the point that we're, that we're going to want to use our gold pickle foul player. We're going to get that health, we're going to get that bleed to proc one more time. Get his health like super low. There it is. Okay, so now pop the both pickle foul foot. And now we're gonna kill him. There he is. There he goes. Dragon's dead. Now watch our runes at the bottom. Killed all the dragons in the area, and we jumped up to 96,994 runes. Runes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the best early game rune farms in Elden Ring. All right, from here, let's go ahead and let's go back to Round Table Hold. Hey, if this video was helpful for you. I need you. I need you. I need you to help me out. Hit hit that like button and co and comment down below. Let 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 me know what other tips and tricks you would like to see for Elden Ring uh, for Elden Ring uh, uh, covered on this channel. I appreciate you, folks. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Love. Stay fancy, y'all.